All right, buckle up boys and girls. Today we're gonna have um, a little bit of a different kind of video. It's uh, going to be a little bit of a discussion, I suppose you could say. Uh, and uh, you know, you might've clicked on the video and you're already asking yourself, like, what does it even mean to uh, have like Genshin Impact be pointless? Like, what do you mean by that? And uh, you know, we're about to answer that, but before we do, I would really appreciate it if, uh, you know, if you like this video to like, comment and subscribe, do all that good stuff to support the channel because uh, I'm trying to get the channel to be somewhere and uh, I'm just kind of throwing stuff at the wall and like, you know, sharing my thoughts, talking about things and uh, seeing what sticks and I would really appreciate your support. So, um, you know, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so this is the much more of a, um, you know, free flow kind of video. I'm just going to be putting all my thoughts there. You know, hopefully with you guys uh, telling me what you think about all of this. But, um, you know, I was, um, as everyone else, I was uh, kind of intrigued by Withering Waves recently, as of recent. Uh, because, uh, I mean, especially because I'm a fan of uh, Kuro games. And uh, I've been looking forward to that game even before, you know, like everyone else. And uh, I decided to reinstall Genshin after not having played for like years at least like consistently because i only really played it like consistently consistently for like the first month or so be before i realized that the game is like complete garbage <laughs> i'm sorry for for all of those who think that the game was ever any good i kind of disagree but you know agree to disagree i suppose and um you know i always keep hearing people talk about how oh you know it's just a casual game oh it's just this it's just that and i ever since i even first time i played it it was how do i even explain this i suppose you could say completely imbalanced in the way that the mechanics work with each other and the things that like those same things that have been true for a very long time ever since the, the game even like came out and have not changed in years and uh, those are like my bullet points like the whole point of the video is going to be the fact that this game is trying to be both hardcore and casual at the same time and kind of succeeds at neither like i look at this game and i see so many different aspects of like a casual game and a hardcore game at the same time and you know like stuff like i don't know like collecting resources every single day right for the character upgrades like that stuff's completely ridiculous because there's like there's never enough resources to just get everything in like bulk to just get a character up and running right for like at least for the resources part like for the overworld resources you have to keep coming back day after day after day after day after day after day and like keep playing and playing and playing and that's like not something that you know a hardcore or not not a hardcore um that's not something a, a casual game would do right like a casual game would just kind of let you grind it out right or like a uh, grind out as in you could maybe like hit autoplay or something like in star rail for example right you just hit autoplay and the game just like plays it plays itself for you for like the pointless grinding and stuff but you know in genshin it kind of like actively encourages you to keep going around and exploring the world even though you know you've probably been in that place like a million times so like it gets old super quickly so it's like it's not exciting anymore and you're just like doing the same shit over and over again but like there's no joy in it so like why are you doing it well, i mean because again that's like a hardcore gameplay design decision in a casual game and like what is that or you know Another, again, hardcore and heavy quotations design decision that this game has is like all the time consuming dailies. Like, what's up with that? Like, it's just a daily mission, dude. Like, just just let it end in five seconds. Like, why couldn't it be just like in Star Like, okay, I'm going to be comparing this game a lot to Star Rail. And, you know, to all of those people who say that, oh, you know, you cannot compare them because uh, they're different genres or whatever. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're going to be a little bit aggressive today. But uh, just because they're different genres, it does not mean that 
I cannot compare individual qualities of a game or like how different things that are like similar between them work. And especially if they're not from the same company, dude, like, oh, like, come on, like, you gotta understand the ridiculousness of your statement, right? <laughs> but yeah, like in Star Rail, you just go and you do your dailies and that's kind of just it, right? But in Genshin Impact, you have to open up your map and you have to go to the commission and you have to do the commission and then you do the next one and the next one and maybe there's going to be a commission that's like an entire goddamn quest line where you have to talk to like a multiple NPCs and shit even though I know that it's still like, you know, oh, it only takes five minutes. Well, you know, that's five minutes out of my fucking day, okay? And like, you have to do it every single day. And like, there's no... You know, I, I realized that uh, I have a couple of friends, or I guess only really one friend who, like, really consistently plays Genshin, and he has told me that, you know, the commissions have gotten easier, like, throughout all the regions. And, like, in, in Fontaine, for example, like, commissions are super easy and quick. But that still doesn't excuse anything, right? Like, it still forces you to actively log in i mean i understand that like you have to log in every single day but like you have to go on different spots on the map that don't have like direct teleportations to them and you have to stand there and grind the same shit the same mission every single day day after day for minuscule rewards like nothing rewards i mean it gets annoying right like eventually you're just gonna like stop doing it like i did like all those years ago and like I, I just don't didn't want to do it anymore and another thing well, i mean again there's like a lot of things that i can talk about like for example you know how the resin doesn't overcap and as a result of that the resin not overcapping or like at least i'm not increasing the cap it kind of forces you to log in multiple times a day sometimes like that's not exactly a you know casual gameplay design decision like it, it kind of trains you into getting addicted to the game and i understand you know i already see the argument of like oh you know like other gacha games do the same thing well yeah it, it's a problem like throughout the entirety of the of the genre i suppose even though gacha games are not a genre it's just like a you know it's the monetization type of, of a game but uh there's still games out there who are trying to be better, like again, Honkai Star Rail, for example, where it has the resin overcap system, or it's not resin, trailblaze power, but you know, whatever. So it just overcaps your resin, first of all, and then it also gives you enough power to like, just have to log in just one time a day, right? Or even like, in stuff like PGR, like, we're a little bit away from that happening, but even in uh, PGR on the CN side, they announced recently that they're going to be, you know, increasing the power cap to 240 as well, so that you you only have to log into PGR once a day as well. And that game, that game is definitely not a casual game, quote unquote. <laughs> that game, you actually have to like kind of like play a little bit. I don't want to say competitively, but you definitely need a little bit more of a skill feeling to uh, beat stuff in that game. Like, I would still also rather only log in once a day, but at least in there it's, like, somewhat justified. But in Genshin Impact, there is no excuse. Absolutely no excuse. Or, as well, uh, what about stuff like, you know, weekly bosses? That's another thing that kind of forces you to, like, get addicted to the game and, like, play hardcore, quote-unquote. And, like, it, it runs out, so if you don't do it, then, you know, it kind of forces you to take advantage of, uh, you know the ability to fight them but even then like the rewards are minuscule and are always never worth it so like it forces you to grind week after week after week after week for like any chance at all to like hope for anything good and does that remind you of anything at all like does that not remind you of you know mmorpgs and shit where like you have to grind the same dungeon over and over and over and over again to like have a chance even like a glimmer of a hope to get anything that you want so yeah, or how about, uh, you know, like the complete, uh, this next one is just like, it blows my mind and I do not understand who even thought like this would be remotely anywhere close to being a good idea. 
and I've never seen something like this in any other game ever. And I might be wrong of like it not existing in any other game ever, but I just personally have not seen this. But the whole thing with the buy daily like domain resources is completely like like absolutely does not like my mind does not comprehend that like why would you do that like why would you have it so that you can only farm certain resource like okay let's just say for example for example right like right now uh also i'm probably gonna have some genshin footage in the background just so that you guys know that i'm not talking out of my ass and like i actually have at least somewhat leveled uh, like a somewhat leveled up account with some five star characters so that you know I'm, I'm not just talking out of my ass right so like let's just say i have uh, farina right like she's not max leveled yet but i want to have her max leveled like i like the character and i want to have her like talents up i want to have her you know experience up whatever but i can't do that like i have to wait for every other like what tuesday i think to to get a chance to like get farina's talents up like that that is an absolutely asinine system that is definitely designed to only get you addicted to the game and play it hardcore but the game is not hardcore or you know the worst part the worst part of it all i haven't even gotten to it yet you already probably know what's coming you, you know what i'm gonna say you just know it it's the artifacts the artifacts are by far the worst piece of shit system ever just ever 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 and i already also also know that some of you are gonna say well it's the whole game and it's true it's the whole game there's nothing else to do with the game you just grind artifacts over and over and over again but the system in and of itself is completely only designed in that way because it's to get you addicted <laughs> To get you, like, playing it like a hardcore game, but it's not hardcore, to, like, you know, try and get specific stats to do specific things, but it, it just doesn't matter because the game is not, like, there's no end game. But, yeah, I mean, like, the artifact grind, just the fact that it has so many subsets and everything, like, it kind of forces you to have a mindset of a, you know, like, a competitive game because there's, like, so many stats to go through and stuff, but again it's not it's not a competitive game it's a casual game so why would it have stuff like this and you you could also like you know people who haven't played a lot of gacha games are gonna argue like oh well uh doesn't that happen in other games too where you want to like optimize that so well, not necessarily actually like some games just like are not as heavily like specifically gear focused with like gear rng like so, some games are just focused on specifically getting a piece of gear and like the gameplay itself is the main focus but not in this game right like they couldn't just go that route they had to like have specific stats on gears and everything to like make it feel like a mmo or something like i don't know and you know the final point of um this whole hardcore section quote unquote is the limited time events right like, like that's inherently again in and of itself is kind of a thing that forces you to play in a hardcore quote-unquote way and for this point specifically i imagine that a lot of you are gonna come at me and uh say that oh well nick it's uh like entire an entire thing with uh, the gacha genre in and of itself and uh, i'll agree with you to an extent but some games some very specific games like again honkai star rail for example or um if you guys know it there's this game called the uh, grand blue fantasy where they don't get rid of old events right like they sh uh, sure they still let it uh, like some time go by and then uh, they add it to like uh, a sort of uh, glossary or like an event uh, compendium or something where you could replay the event and like even partially get like some of the rewards from the event and like the story is available at any time so that that is like kind of like an indication of a, a game being more casual but in genshin if you miss an event 
Like for example, like I missed three years worth of like worth of events. So I, I have absolutely no incentive to ever like seriously come back to this game, even if they do like fix all the stupid bullshit and like all the back combat and everything, which I'm not even gonna probably touch on that too much in this video because that's a whole other can of worms. But the point of this video is to like discuss the entirety of the like casual versus uh, competitive or hardcore gameplay, not variety, but like mix in Genshin Impact. Which, you know, finally enough, finally brings us over to the whole casual aspect, like discussion of this whole topic. You know, the, the very first thing that will ever come to any person's mind when talking about, you know, the, the fact that this game is casual is the fact that, you know, all that I talked about, everything that I talked about, the way that the game tries to like get you addicted and to build all these characters and stuff, like all of that is completely pointless because the game is really easy and none of it matters. Great. So what the hell is exactly the point of me collecting all the mint berries? What is the point of doing the tedious dailies? What is the point of me not being able to have my resin overcapped? What is the point of me doing weekly bosses? What is the point of, you know, buy daily resource domains? What is the point of artifact grinding? Like there is no point to any of it. So essentially the game just like, like it uses hardcore gameplay mechanics or like, like again, gameplay mechanics that are seen in hardcore games to try and get you addicted to the casualness of it all. And I, I, I just don't think it mixes very well. Like Genshin Impact tries to have its cake and eat it too at the same time. And it tries to like be story focused with with bad story <laughs> i'm sorry i just had to say it but the, the the story is really bad in the game it was never good it, it it's still not good i'm not gonna say anything about fontaine but everything before that it's definitely bad and the, there's like still no skip button for the story which is also really annoying and well i mean i'm still talking about like all the casual aspects of the game and like the piss easy mickey mouse events like Th those are not ever challenging at all either like all the beetle fighting or like the prop hunts like w why you're just taking other games you're just taking other games that are you know much better on their own like their specific games that are made as standalone games and you're just putting them in Genshin Impact and are trying to make the like make this hodgepodge of ideas that don't work together whatsoever and on top of that again as I said a little bit earlier, there's like no end game. So it's so completely pointless. Genshin Impact is a pointless game. You play it in a hardcore way every single day with no purpose. You do all this useless bullshit that takes up day after day of your work in a hardcore way, quote unquote. I keep saying quote unquote because I have to keep saying quote unquote because there's some really stupid people watching these videos and it's all for nothing. So please do tell me, what is the point of Genshin Impact? Is it supposed to be a hardcore experience or is it supposed to be a casual experience? Because I don't see like it being either one. It's not a good game. Like sometimes I see these people talk, just go around Twitter or like whatever else and like talk so much shit on other games and like act like Genshin Impact is like the peak of the fucking a world like the best game ever but Genshin Impact has like no identity essentially it's just a hodgepodge of ideas like brought together in a single game where they didn't know how to make those ideas work together so we end up with this like horrible amalgamation of you know casual and hardcore gameplay mechanics that just doesn't work out at least for me personally so that's why well, i mean that's a part of the reason why i dropped like dropped it all the way back because i realized that all of these things are like a problem and after three years they still haven't fixed any of it so please you know i don't really have any sort of you know dedicated ending to this video i don't really know how to end this discussion but you know maybe instead it's a discussion starter so Please tell me in the comments, what do you think about my points? 
What do you think about Genshin Impact? What do you think about, you know, like, upcoming games like Wither Rays? I haven't really talked about it, but honestly, it seems like a much better game that knows what it's doing and is trying to fix all of Genshin's problems. And especially, again, since I'm a fan of Kuro games, I'm definitely going to be covering that one, hopefully. But, yeah, I mean, if you agree with me, you know, type something in the comments, say that, oh, yeah, you know, I never realized this or that. If you disagree, if you think I'm a dumbass idiot, sure, call me a dumbass idiot in the comments as well. Like, go on Twitter, fucking send me death threats or something. Can't wait for that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you for listening, blabbering, to, to my blabbering for, like, however long this video is going to be because, uh, you know, editing and stuff. Probably going to cut off some pointless talking probably gonna do some stuff but uh yeah thank you for watching the video and uh if you want to see me make a video on why genshin's combat sucks please type it in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye